Congratulations on purchasing your brand new JBL Bar 9.1. We'll walk you through a few quick steps to help you get started. We'll also provide a few tips and tricks most users will not know about. So with our guide, you'll get up to speed with your new Dolby Atmos soundbar system right away. The first step you'll want to take is decide how you want to position your soundbar. The Bar 9.1 is designed to sit under your TV and it can also be wall mounted. Wall mounting brackets and instructions are included inside the box. The easiest option, however, is just position the soundbar under your TV on top of a piece of furniture. So if you want to mount the bar to your wall, I recommend just following the instructions included in the box. If you place the soundbar under your TV, we also recommend separating the bar from the TV to give the upward firing drivers enough clearance to direct sound up to your ceiling. There's also rear speakers that detach from the bar 9.1 so you can just place these anywhere in your room for an immersive experience. This next step is also very important. JBL marks which rear surround speaker is the left or the right channel on the sides of each unit. So you wanna pay special attention to that as well. When you detach the rear speakers, it's generally a good practice to place them on top of tables or even a pair of stands behind you. They'll give you about 10 hours of wireless playtime and when it's time to charge, a red light will blink on top of each unit to let you know it's time to recharge. When it's time to charge them, just dock them into the Bar 9.1's built-in magnets on the sides of the bar, and in about three hours, they'll be fully charged. Your JBL Bar 9.1 supports the newer enhanced version of HDMI ARC called eARC. This is cool because eARC's higher bandwidth allows for true Dolby Atmos to be transmitted out to compatible devices. A popular choice of compatible devices might be your Apple TV, for example. However, if you're an Apple TV user, keep in mind the Apple TV 4K or newer are the only models that have the HDMI port capable of true Dolby Atmos. So if you want to experience true Dolby Atmos to the full extent, you want to make sure your hardware source is compatible with the newer eARC. Finally, for the most stable performance with your Wi-Fi network, I recommend just connecting the soundbar directly to your router with a hardwired Ethernet connection. Your Bar 9.1 also supports Chromecast, Apple AirPlay 2, and Bluetooth, so you can just stream music from compatible phones, tablets, and computers directly to the bar. On top of the Bar 9.1 are four soft buttons that let you power the soundbar system on or off, raise and lower the volume, and cycle through each of the source inputs. You can also choose source inputs directly from the remote control that's included with the product. If you're just getting started with Dolby Atmos, usually a quick Google search is the best way to see a list of all the great Dolby Atmos content available. However, we have a fun pro tip for you. You can see all the movies and TV shows encoded with this new surround sound format on Netflix and Amazon Prime just by typing the words Dolby Atmos into the platform's search field. On the other hand, if you do have Disney+, Plus, you will have to search Google for a comprehensive list of Dolby Atmos content, but we're really impressed by how large that collection of Dolby Atmos content is that's available on Disney+, Plus. so be sure to check that out for the most movies encoded with Dolby Atmos. Setting up the JBL Bar 9.1 is pretty straightforward. After you plug in the power supply and make the necessary connections with your TV, the soundbar will automatically display helpful instructions right from the LED screen on the front of the bar. Next is the process that allows you to calibrate your soundbar. Your Bar 9.1 will capture the unique properties of your room and then tune its output based on the acoustic readings it gathers, and it does all of this in just about two simple steps. First, you'll want to start the calibration process by placing the two detachable wireless rear speakers behind you. Be sure nothing is in the way, such as a plant, or a lampshade that could obstruct the sound waves from reaching your ceiling. It's also important to angle each speaker so that the charging dock is pointing directly away from you. This will help ensure that the rear channel speakers are directing horizontal surround sound properly. Using the remote control that JBL includes in the box, you just hold down the button labeled HDMI for three seconds. The LED display on the front of the bar will count down the seconds for you. After this, the Bar 9.1 will output a few test tones directly from the soundbar and the rears. The internal microphones built inside the Bar 9.1 will automatically capture the acoustic properties of your living space in less than a few minutes. It's that simple. While not the same as an EQ, the included remote control does offer some ways to customize the sound field. 
On the remote control, there are tactile controls that will let you raise or lower the volume levels coming out of the subwoofer. They go from level one to four and the rear surround speakers, they go from low, mid, and high. If you wanna make the dialogue in movies sound crystal clear, use the remote control to lower the bass coming out of the subwoofer. Also lowering the Atmos effect and the volume of the rear speakers behind you will all help the dialogue to stand out clear. And since your bar 9.1 will be completely in tune with the specific acoustic properties of your room, all the adjustments you make at this point will be totally optimized. So just tweak those preferences until you're happy with the results. This concludes our tips and tricks for the bar 9.1. This should get you up and running fast so you can start enjoying all the great movies in this exciting Dolby Atmos format. If you're looking for more audio equipment or if you have any questions about these that were not discussed in our video, feel free to chat with us on audiovice.com, call us, or if you're in the area, just come into one of our Raleigh or Charlotte, North Carolina locations. Until next time, we hope you enjoy your new soundbar.